Uh, we go to an artist from Europe. Uh, her name is Elise uh, Eckhout. If I'm wrong, please uh, correct me. Uh, she is from the Netherlands. And I immediately stopped when I looked at her work called Purification. It's almost like a feast of colors, but it's, it's, it's like a city with a, uh, with a very uh, unique architecture. The way you have placed your elements to give this illusion, this mirage of this a beautiful city out of this world and, and the way you've locked it in with these, uh, not with the upper part, but what intrigues me the most is the lower part with your mixture of greens or there's like a million shades of green which so effortlessly allows these, uh, this, if I may call them creatures or elements to sort of percolate on top by just changing uh, your, your toning it's quite mesmerizing, and, and the more I look at it, the more the more details I discover. At least, um, maybe they're not noticeable at first sight, but I, I noticed how uh, the toning not only brings out these elements or these creatures that I call, but that middle section with the bluish sort of uh, <coughs> colors is, is quite fascinating. I I don't know what kind of technique you use, but the blend that you're using here it's. It's, it's amazing and thank you for such a, for giving me such a profound uh, spectrum of uh, harmonies that I'm hearing in my head. I want to say a few words about uh, Elise's words on uh, purification. Uh, so um, Elise likes to combine her fascination of letters and texts with the images she creates in her art. Uh, her work is inspired by books and contains fragments of text. As a result, uh, what the text evokes in you will interact with the images you see. Uh, so her works of art have a story to tell, and they're not completely finished. So I will try to play my piano symphony to this uh, beautiful work. I try to do my best to communicate to you um, the gestures. I, I, I see the gestures that are, are popping up here, if I may use that phrase, and uh, you know, I try to get those motifs to stand out so they could, um, I did try to, to, uh, uh, to describe the piece, I went around it so I can actually uh, depict into music what I was feeling, what kind of 
it's it's hard to put into words, but what what, what kind of um, what kind of feeling it was giving, what kind of images or what kind of uh, gestures and and sounds I was hearing from your uh, from your work, and um, I, I I hope you'll be able to match it as you hear it over and over. Thank you for such a beautiful work.